Good morning everyone. I'm at a new fishing venue today, um, just up in Norfolk. Uh, it looks absolutely brilliant already. Uh, I haven't even cast a fly out yet. Been setting all the gear up so you can all watch it. Um, very clear water, so uh, I'm going first of all with a black buzzer, single flyer. Then I've got my other rod there with uh, a drop of fly on it and uh, point, uh, probably a gold bead point fly. So I'm going to have a go, see how I've got. I've got a couple of lakes I can try today. So really excited about fishing a new venue. I haven't fished a new venue for years. So let's see how we go. Cheers. Just hope the camera can see, picks up how clear the water is. Currently I'm the only person here, which is really nice. Um, so today I'm going to start with a simple black buzzer that you saw me tie in a video a few weeks ago, if you watched it. I'm using my Hardy travel rod today, so I don't get to use it that often. It looks like a lovely place for this, very lightweight rod. So let's get the first cast underway, see if we can catch anything. I'm just starting close, just in case there's any fish cruising around. Just watching that line for any sign of movement. That was me. <laughs> okay. Maybe our first proper cast to this new venue. I've seen a couple of fish rise just out there. Apart from your gunshot on the ducks, I can't hear a car or a sound of anything other than the countryside, and it's absolutely beautiful. I'm just going to start retrieving that very slowly. And now my phone's ringing. GoPro, stop. Look at this. The, on the only tree around the lake or near me, I'll have to go and catch it. I'll just move around the lake a little bit. I've seen a bit of fish activity over this side. Um, gone back to my single buzzer. Just let it sink down a little bit and then I'll just gently start retrieving it. Oh, yeah, here we go. Just changed to copper and a gold bead nymph. This is my first fish with this venue. Let's just hope we can get it in. Ooh, we've got a proper good barbless hook on. So that's the rules here. I think it's a rainbow. Could be a brown, a brown trout in here. Oh, there we go. Let's get some line. Yeah, it's a rainbow and it's a stocky so I can keep it. That will add to my bag limit. Add to it, it'll be the first fish in my bag limit if I get it in. And they like you to use their own landing nets that they supply, which is fair enough. It's putting up a struggle. It's really nice on this rod as well. She comes. No, not ready yet. Yeah, and we're in. First fish. Lovely. Hooks out in the net already. It's always good. Here we are. First fish from this venue. Really fat. Nice, stocky fish. That's lovely. That's the flyer I caught it on. You can see it gets a rod down. I 
don't know whether to get another tea break in the fisherman's hut there because of this rain, let it pass. Carry on fishing. Hmm. Tricky. Oh, it's moving over quite fast, sunny shower. Well, no sooner as I cast out, literally the flies hit the water, and other fish has taken it. This feels a bit better. Staying deeper, this one. In the net. Fish number two in a matter of five minutes. Wow. Fish number two. Slightly bigger than the first one. Oh, a beautiful fish. I'll keep the camera camera running this time. So you can see me do a bad cast. If I turn the camera off, I'll get a take. Well, I've only got one more fish I'm allowed to catch in this lake today. So I think we'll have a little wander up there by the trees. A right, little island to see if there's anything up there. Well, I've just moved to the far end of the lake now, as you can see. Looks really deep down there. There might be a nice brown trout or something hanging about in this area. Just a short cast. And keep it low profile. I've been to a lot of fisheries in my time, but this one is way up there. I've lost two fish. I've already caught two, two and landed two fish. <clears throat> um, I've got one more fish to catch for my limit, and then I can do catch and release up on the top lake that I haven't even seen yet. There's the fisherman's hut. I've just been in there because it was raining. I stopped and changed batteries. Um, and I had a cup of coffee from my lovely new flask. And a quick bite to eat. Now I'm all ready to start again. The weather seems to be brightening up a little bit. And this lake here has been drained down for maintenance at, at the moment. So generally, whoops. So normally that would be a, um, a f another fly fishing lake. I did well, see it. Last. I had a walk up from the lake down the bottom here. You can't see it from here. It drops off past those uh, pipes there. There's a middle lake, which is a reservoir. There's no fishing allowed. And this is a crab tree lake, I think it was called. So we're going to give it a go here. It's catch and release only now. I've caught my quota for the day to take home. But the battery went flat on my camera for the last fish, so you didn't get to see it. Apparently there's slightly bigger trout in this lake. It's been raining all day, so I need raincoat on, and I'm so warm. It's been really quite mild for a time of year. Which is uh, getting on from the middle of March. Well, it's nice and calm up here anyway, no wind. There must be a few fish in here. There wouldn't... Oh, 
Oh man, that looked big. Wow. It's the first time I've ever fished here, so I don't know what's really in here. Apparently there's some bigger rainbows in here. I don't know if you saw that, but just missed a take. I wasn't concentrating properly. This is real countryside, it's beautiful. Oh, there's plenty of fish in here, they're coming up everywhere at the moment. Just a matter of finding the right pattern. Oh, look at that. Look. It keeps coming up there. It's got the bits of brownie. Yes, got it. Whatever it is, I've got it. It's a rainbow. Tell me why it's fine. Just put a sedge pattern on. Just gonna see if uh see if anything comes up for it. Yep, look at that. Oh. <laughs> if you want me back. That was on that little sedgy pattern. Well, I was just walking back round to me other gear there. I saw a little fish rise. Oh, <laughs> oh. I spat the hook. Took it almost instantly. As you can tell, possibly, it's raining. It hasn't actually stopped hardly at all all day. It's been the odd five minutes without any rain. I'm actually getting soaked through now. I think if it stopped raining, it'd be really nice. Oh. See, I'm so worried about the rain. I missed a really nice take. Oh. Oh, dear. That really went for that.
and again. Oh. You know, I thought I had a fish on because um, oh, this feels a bit better. Well, it's just the same. But oh, you can't really see it, can you? <laughs> it's right inside my head to put my hood up to protect my camera. Well, that's it for today everybody uh, I've caught six fish in total I caught three on the lake just behind me another three up on Crabtree Lake up at the top catch and release but it's been raining all afternoon really heavy and the fish just weren't biting very well there's a lovely venue I'll definitely be back so stay tuned and uh, you never know, we might come again in a couple of weeks time when it's not so rainy. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe down in the corner there. Thanks very much. Bye.